Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord and today's video is one I didn't want to make. In the back of my mind for months now, I've I've kind of known that I would eventually have to make it, but I thought there may be some kind of hope and that PlayStation 4 mods would actually make it to Fallout 4. And unfortunately, guys, I'm here today to tell you no, they are not. We have just received our official update and I guess Probably one of the last updates uh, for PS4 mods and it is straight from Bethesda.net and I will be sharing with you the transcript right now. So as you can see it says PS4 mod update and it says After months of discussion with Sony, we regret to say that while we have been ready to offer mod support on PlayStation 4, Sony has informed us that they will not improve user mods the way they should work where users can do anything they want with either Fallout 4 or Skyrim Special Edition. Now, first of all, for that little bit there, we obviously know that it is Sony's fault. Uh, we've known this for quite some time now. I have reported on this quite a lot. Uh, but yes, yeah, Sony just will not let them uh, do this. And what I'm thinking is that Sony are very scared of their system being infiltrated. And this is possibly the reason they have declined uh, the PlayStation 4 mods. Now again, one other thing we do know from that little part of the transcript is that mods will not be on Fallout 4 or Skyrim Special Edition like they were promised or, I don't know, like it was stated. So, all of you who are wanting Skyrim Special Edition, I am very sorry to you on the PlayStation 4, but you will not be able to access console mods. Now, if I can, I'm just going to read the rest of the transcript right here and we're going to talk a little bit about this news. So then they go on to say, Like you, we are disappointed by Sony's decision, given the considerable time and effort we have put into this project, and the amount of time that our fans have waited for mod support to arrive. We consider this as an important initiative, and we hope to find other ways user mods can be available for our PlayStation audience. However, until Sony allows us to offer proper mod support for PlayStation 4, that content for Fallout 4 and Skyrim on PlayStation 4 will not be available. We will provide an update if and when this situation changes. So again, like you can see, Bethesda are really disappointed by this because they have tried, and I've said this for quite some time now, they have tried, they are pushing it, they're doing the best they can. It, unfortunately, they did skip the gun a little bit, they announced it a little bit too early there, which I wish they didn't now. Um, but again, it's PlayStation that's going to get the backlash here because we can all see that officially now they have been able to actually state whose fault it is. I mean, we've saw things in the past where they've said it's not on our part, but they haven't fully went out and give us the whole reason behind all of this stuff. And uh, certainly this is more than enough to tell us that Sony are very worried about the security for their system and that's probably why they're not allowing it. Um, and unfortunately, Fallout 4 and Skyrim and what other games in the future, uh, up until this moment, will not uh, have mod support, which is very, very horrible for you guys on the PlayStation 4. I am very sorry to be bringing you this news, I really am. Um, now, I do want to say something really quick, guys, is that you have an amazing console. All of you guys on the PlayStation 4, you do. Every console is their own. You know, the Xbox does what it's meant to, the PlayStation 4 does what it's meant to, and the PC does what it's meant to. Now, when the PlayStation 4 was actually created, nobody said, listen, we're going to have to prepare our system for mods for games. Nobody thought that was going to happen. Nobody thought that was going to happen for a long time. But unfortunately, events have turned around now. Bethesda have been the official first game to give mods to a game, or the developers to give mods to a game. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to want to either sell your Xbox or some, uh, your PlayStation or something like that. And honestly, guys, I know it sounds really, really of a douche move here, but instead of selling your PlayStation and buying an Xbox, although I love Xbox and it is my primary console in which I game on, I would recommend that you go over to my video about PC gaming and give it a little bit of a look, because if you are going to change consoles just for mods, 
then you may as well fork out an extra $200 or £200 and get yourself a really good gaming PC. Now that video I'm talking about will be in the description of this video. Please make sure that you watch through all of it as it does give out some good points and I'm not like bowing down to PC or anything like that. Quite frankly, the only thing I like PC for is to edit my videos. I, I really hate gaming on there, but it is a big advantage compared to the consoles. Now again, Talking about the PlayStation 4 mod update, guys, we can see that they say uh, they will provide an update if and when the situation changes. And that's, in my opinion, not going to be very likely. It's up to Bethesda now to listen to their fans and maybe implement some sort of little update in the game in which you can go to a room and get, like, I don't know, God mode, all that kind of stuff, you know? If we cannot have mod support, then at least give us some kind of an update on the PlayStation 4 in which has a room, we go inside it, we can press a little button to activate God Mode, uh, all of that other kind of good stuff, you know? And I know it will be law-breaking, people will hate it, but, you know, this is a very big opportunity that was missed, and it was missed because PlayStation are, I don't know, just worried about their system, I guess. So now they have to think about things such as updates, things to improve the game in that kind of way. Anyway guys, I am very sorry that I have brought this news to your attention, uh, but as always, if you are the first to find out here, then remember to give this video a like, and um, I regret to say I am very sorry about this update, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend anyway. And until next time, I've been Star Lord, I'll see ya! Opening after me!